So I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. Yeah. Yeah. Little man. <laughs> little man got his little walker now. He's about. Show them. Show them. Off. He's off. Like yo. Allow me. I feel like I should give you the ultimatum of you can't go out until you find the chain. Cause you've been riding a wave of going out. Now I know it's serious. Hmm. In any, any case, tell him, tell him. Yeah. Yeah, the wife's gone gym. She's been going gym a little while now. Like, he's doing good for her. He's doing bits for her, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. A part of how strong she is. You understand? Yeah. Well, you want more of the camera, please? What are you going that way for? Uh, Come this way. There's a camera! Bad times. Yeah. What? I feel like me going out, it just hits all the bad times away from me. Are you trying to guilt trick me right now? I'm just saying. What bad times? Tell me the bad times. Me not having my chain. I don't care about me not going out, I just want my chain. <laughs> Can you pick up your brother, please? Oh my god, it's not my child. You're taking for a walk around the river. Yeah, you, yeah, you want to take both of us out? Yeah, yeah, let's go for a walk around the river. Alright, maybe we can search for my chain on the floor. What? Maybe we can search for my chain on the floor. What, you've lost it outside the house? I don't think I have. I think it's in hold on, hold on, hold on. You've lost it outside the house? No. Not inside the house? No, I think it's inside the house. You think? Big man. This is a problem, you know? This is one of them grounding problems, and you'll be grounded for a long time. But I'm about to get emotional about the chain. Let me see this date, yo. No, 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 because I'm in the middle of tidying it. How are you going to find it in this? Look, even the flies are at home. Day in the life. Right now, look what I'm doing. Ugh, I don't even know how. How? How did the freezer get the? How does a freezer get that icy? Like for real? Maybe, maybe because it's a freezer. What? Maybe because it's a freezer. Doesn't like freeze the water, so like all like when it evaporate, evaporates like the water. Freezers after. That's your input. I think so. <laughs> yeah. Can I, wait, can I go for a run? <laughs> you can go for a run when my voice gets bassier, when you don't find your chain. It's fine though. Yeah, but that's the only time you're gonna be able to go out is to go running and come straight back. Yeah, but if you if no, but if you if you if what if you do get angry with me, then it's gonna not help me find my chain. Maybe if I'm happy. Not happy, but if you're caught with calm and collected about it, then we can both find my chain together. You know what happened to me today? I don't know if you lot have got friends like this here, yeah? but I bought my friend a ticket to go Metro Fest, yeah? Out of the kindness of my heart, you know? Metro Fest is on Sunday. What's that? He called me today. He goes to me. Leo, can you sell my ticket, please? I don't want to come no more. I said, pardon? I don't want to do people. I said, pardon? And you know what? I can be an asshole when it comes to presents. Like, I would just, my face would say it all if I don't really like the present that you get me. But I would never tell you to sell it. Excuse my French for the younger viewers. But right now, this is deep. The man said, sell his birthday present. Huh? friends have I got? Maybe, huh? maybe you should know how to um, buy your friends presents. I thought that was a cool present. What are you talking about? Let's go to a festival. He hasn't been to a festival. I haven't been to a festival. You haven't been to a festival before? This is what I'm saying about friends. You know? tell, me if, tell me in the comments if you've got friends like that. And tell me what, what type of on the Richter scale of arseholeness I should put him. I think you put him on number six. Huh? Number six. Number six? Yeah. Love Island. Hmm, that's been holding me. That's my little light entertainment. Who's your favourite on Love Island? Uh, my favourite? At the moment? Yeah. But you know what? I thought Toby, yeah? 
I really thought Toby was a bit. Yeah. But, you know what? He actually just reminds me of Tay. He's just a young. He, he's just an older version of Tay. I feel like if Tay went to Love Island, you'd be like Toby. He'd be like a kid in a candy shop. Toby don't know what he wants. He just tells them straight and hopes for the best. Yeah, but I feel like. The Chloe drop. The Chloe bomb was the. I was like, what? what? She's going to be with someone. Because, of course, yeah. she's going to be with someone. Yeah, but I didn't know I was going to feel the way I felt. You told both of them, so you brought back Mary, told her that, bro, Chloe, eh? No, but I was, I, I think, um, I only go on Love Island for the money and the clout. Hey, man, Love Island clout. That's the kind of clout you want. Love Island clout is what you want. I can take it away from Love Island. It Love be, Island clout. It be, it'll, it's an investment of full Yeah, case, I know. Because I don't see I don't see anyone on Love Island who I would ever to have a relationship with. No, no, no. You know what though? <clears throat> Sorry, but Kaz, how in the evening when you're getting ready for bed you look like something out of Harry Potter? What's all that hair? What's all that hat thing and the glasses? Alright, alright, cool. That's a bonnet. That's a it's cooler, what? A bonnet. Boy. Anyway, <laughs> Jake, you're a snake. He had a huge hand in that Casa Amor entertainment when, the, when it came to all of that. I told you it with chess. Who's Jake? Jake is the one that's with Liberty. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Why, why is he He's a snake. They might go to Casa Amor. They might have, he's throwing them, trying to give them advice and then throwing them under the bus. Like, yeah, go on, go on. I'm pushing you because I want to win. Let me just push you. That's what Jake's doing. And all of them like fool like Dun Dun. Tyler, you little Dun Dun. My head is so scrambled, I can't really give you a concrete answer right now. Well, at least Jake is like following the right path. Jake's playing the game, that's but the he's a snake, he's throwing the man under the bus. And he's doing it slyly. I'll give you the advice to kill your relationship. Poor Liam. <laughs> Poor 21 year old. Then he know. wants to go and give, 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 give advice to Toby. Well, you know Toby's young and confused. They man are premature in this thing. You're supposed to be guiding him a little. Nah. You look, you and Liberty under the bed covers like, shh, we got this. Just keep kissing. That's what they're doing. You see me? But that's, my, that's been my light entertainment. That's got me through these last couple days. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Just binged on it. Back to back. Don't worry, he's looking after you. Because I'm going in the shower. Oh my god, this is why. What? What's up? Why do I? Oh my god, I can't find my chain. Oh my god, I gotta look after my brother. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you even religious? No. So why do you keep using God's name in vain? Because... Stop using God's name in vain if you're not religious. I believe in God, but I'm not religious. <laughs> but hey, Kay, since you start eating food, don't you do you stinks, man? Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, that was disgusting. I can't do this, man. That's what I mean. I'm not even his, his father. What does that mean? Well, you can't change his mum. I'm a kid. You what? I'm not a teenager. Oh my days, there's still more of that. Well What's done. I, I don't feel like you can do this. Are you better now? Are you better now? Yeah, big bro helped you. I'm done now. Bye. Are uh, they coming through? Let me see your TV bags. Let me see your TV bags. Where are they? Let me see them. Let me see them. Get a see them. Get a see them. <coughs> it's mad how he's getting big though, isn't it? Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yeah. How he's changing. Yeah, but I just I just wanted to learn how to talk. How he's changing. He's getting a little personality. A little character. Idiot. He has yeah. a little personality. Yeah. Yeah. He has. No, he doesn't. What do you mean? I can't even talk or think. You know, what, what, are you nuts? Can't you don't see that he screws up his face? That's personality. This is the most beautiful thing in the world, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. What about your big son? 
I said, mm. this is the most beautiful thing in the world. Yeah, and you're know, saying that mm. you're saying Not this is his. This. Lying here with my sons. That's life what, gifting me. That is such a lie. Yeah, that is such a lie. What's a lie? You just say that because I'm What's a lie? son. This is this is not the most beautiful thing in the world it is. for you. It is. No, it's not. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Because there's so much more exciting things. Like what? What you would want to do. Are you stupid? That's why. That's why you don't know me, innit? Tell the camera you don't know me, innit? I don't know my dad. It's just common sense. Tell them you don't know me. Tell them. I do know you, you don't know, know me. So you prefer to go jet ski? You prefer to do this than jet skiing? Yes. Actually, no, you don't like water, so it's different. You know, it's nice and peaceful walking. But you know what I want to talk about? What? Do you know what I've seen as evident? Really? With the young knife crime. Like, I don't know. I don't know. And you know what? You know, I, I'm sure that you lot have talked to, to your, for your friends about this. Maybe man them more. I don't know because my wife, phew, yeah, she feels strongly about this thing. Yeah. But I've always tried to think about that scenario, like if I got that phone call. Cause Tay's getting to that age now, isn't it? Like he goes out and does his thing. He's turning 14 this year. You understand me? I can't just hold on to him all the time. But I don't know if it's a generational thing. Is it? Do you lot think about knives and carrying knives and having to protect yourself? Is that? Do you worry about that when you leave the house? I don't worry about it, but yeah. It's, yeah. Normal, it's just like kind of like a normal thing. What's a normal thing? Tell me what's normal. It's not normal. But when I come out of the house, I want to make sure I got my wallet, my phone, and my door keys. I don't need no zombie knife impeding my trousers. It just happens now, ain't it? So how do you feel, or do you just? Are you aware of your social circles? What do you mean by that? Like, are you aware of the people you're around? Or? Yeah, I'm aware of what happens. I just don't get involved. What, what, what do you want me to do? I don't know what you want me to do. It's a dog. You know, some people get on my nerves. Eh? The dog didn't even bark. And she's got issues. One thing I know about British people, and I'm British, you know, we're moly people, you know. But I'm in Europe, you know, or I'm out of the country. People say hello and smile, and British people, we're moany. Why are we so moany? Oh. Anyway, it's important for me to know, innit? Like, is it a generational thing? Is it your generation, or is it just a generation that's lost right now? We know that some generations are lost right now. Huh? Man number 30 went up and down with zombie knives. Really? Big man, you ain't got bills to pay. Yeah, but it's like... Guns. What about guns? Like when you were younger, I bet that was, it wasn't really nice, it was more like guns. Yeah, listen, I, I get it, right? Like... Like, life goes around in phases and yeah, there were, at one point there was a, there was a gun epidemic. There was a... Machines was a thing, innit? But nowadays I feel like you don't take this thing for joke. Like, life doesn't mean nothing. Like, I'm not a father. Like, if I get that phone call, you lot don't think about your consequences. You understand where I'm coming from? Like, I can only talk for me, but if I get that phone call, I don't know if the police can help me. And I'm being real. I don't think the police, no mental health worker, no bereavement person, nobody can't help me in the state of mind that I'll be in. And that's the real. And that's what frightens me. Obviously, Tay getting himself into a predicament, but then the aftermath. And you kids don't really realize that, man. What would you do if I use a knife in self defense? Yeah? In self defense. Why have you got a knife in the first place? I don't know. Huh? Why, why, why do you have to think about that? Why do you have to have a knife in the first place? Let's work that one out. Maybe the person is bigger than me. And what? So you lose a fight? No, I'm just saying that. So like, when you use a knife, you do know that you can kill somebody and take their life? Yeah. Yeah, but you can kill someone in a fight. 
but you're more the, yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 the ratio and the risk of you killing somebody with a knife is higher than if you have a fist fight isn't it yeah like who gives you the right to pick up something and put it in somebody else in another human being nothing huh? nothing do you understand where i'm coming from yeah and life life is precious you know what we're going through right now do you understand me you understand you are trying to understand what death's about like any of the young ones out there that's watching this like i just need you to understand that your life means something do you understand me like Thank you. your life means something tay's life means something the other person's life means something they have family yeah tay got a little brother that he needs to guide him i don't get it i really don't you're taking you're taking life a joke right now. And I hope, Tay, I really hope yeah. that if you ever need to pick up a knife, yeah. you just come and find me and we work it out. Because there's options. There's options and solutions. And it doesn't have to be a knife. Yeah. And this also comes around with circles. It's your social circles. Don't you think so? Do you think so? You tell mm, me. No. You don't think it's your social circles? Because some of my social circles... Well, I, I have like a lot of different type of friends. Okay. Like, some would class them as bad social circles and some would, and then some of the others are just like normal. So, so what do you think it is then? Do you think that people just make bad choices? Nah, I feel like people just... Do you think it's on them? Do you think it's on the person that carries the knife? I'm, a, I'm, I'm one of your friends, I carry a knife, I stab somebody. Yeah. Is is it my fault I stab somebody or is it somebody else's fault? His fault. It's his fault. Yeah. Why? Like because you're the person who stabbed someone. But it's like someone told me that he's my age and I'm very I'm quite close with him. He says that he's a product of his environment. I think that us as adults we need to do more. Yeah, because you can cause, but I feel like it's partly his fault as well because I could I could say Kind of the same thing, but I'm not like that because I have, because I have sense to know that I don't need to be in that thing. Because all the, all the, everyone doesn't need to be in it; they just think they need to be in it. Because why not? All right, here's a question for you. And this is an important question. Yeah. Do you see yourself living a long life? Maybe. Like, do you have dreams and aspirations and? thoughts past the age of 30 like do you see yourself owning your own house and having kids and do you do you see that far ahead yeah you don't just live for the 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 the, the, the present day. that's important it's important that you see the future because a lot of these kids and a lot of these generations growing up they don't see the future they just see and they live for the day you understand me and I'm not blaming these, this is what I'm saying to you. Everybody's got choices. Everybody makes their own choices. But if they can't even see in front of them in the future, then there's a problem already there. You understand where I'm coming from? Yeah, but like, I, I still hang around with people which could maybe lead to me in something like that, but I don't feel like... Okay then, so I get that. So let's talk about that, innit? It's true what you're saying. It's true stories. You're going to be around social circles, and I've always said this, that I'm not telling my son that he, who he can choose and to be friends and not to be friends with. Some friends will make good, good choices, some friends will make bad choices. But it's what choices Tay makes is what I care about. That's the most important thing to me. If I can help his friends, I will. But the most important thing for me is making sure my sons make the right choices. So, boom. You're in a scenario, yeah, where... You're going to check your friends, yeah? Yeah. And your friends are telling you that they're about to do go and do something. There's a beef going on, whatever. One of your friends is beefing the next person. They're on the prowl for them. Do you go with them? Yeah. You go with them? Okay. Tell me what the pros are of going with them and what the cons are. So it could be a setup. Someone could have a weapon on them something could be taken cool 
Let me tell you what the cons are of you following your friends if they're in a madness. Whoa. The cons are this. Joint Enterprise has been scrapped, yeah? yeah? So they say. Yeah? Do you know what Joint Enterprise is? Yeah, I do. Where is it? It's where, for example, me and my... Um, me, me and two other friends are out here. One of them sees someone. They stab him, but I'm there whilst they stab him. And even if I go away, and I'm t and even if I go away and think, why has he done that? I'm still being involved because I was there. Yeah, you're nearly you're, you're nearly there. You're you're ninety seven percent there. So you follow your friend, yeah? Yeah. Your friend does something to somebody, yeah? Yeah. And they unfortunately lose their life. Yeah? Yeah. You're gonna get nicked for the same crime as what your friend done until you prove your innocence. Now, if you was there at the time mm -hmm. and the person gets stabbed and falls to the floor and you don't call an ambulance or oh, yeah. you don't try to help, yeah, the court can use that against you. Now, I'm real in it. I understand that in life, you ain't really looking to be there and, and in, the, in, the, in the moment, shit's gonna happen, innit? But in a court of law, they don't see that type of sense. They see a young black child committing fuckery on the roads. That's the rule. Yeah? Do you understand me? Your jury of your peers, they're always against you. They come from the suburbs. They don't know what it's like to live in areas that we live in. Like, let's just be real about this. I'm not putting them down, but let's be real. They don't understand these kids every day life what, what life throws at them so they can only go off of what they know and what they feel or deem is right you understand me yeah. so basically in a nutshell what i'm saying to you is big man know what you're doing when you want to follow your friend in it yeah know what situation you're about to put yourself in and know what consequences can come of it yeah yeah you understand me especially you them if the problem is not your problem. Remember, there's always two sides to a story and there's the truth, you know? Yeah? And if I've got my side, I'm backing my side 100. I'm telling you my stories like it's got rainbows at the end and... You understand where I'm coming from? Like, I couldn't do nothing wrong. Know what problems you're gonna get yourself in and what sacrifices you're gonna make for what friends. Yeah. But ultimately, like I said, Tay, I'm trying to build your mindset, innit? I'm trying to build your mindset so you don't get yourself into positions so that you know what social circles to be around, what circumstances you're going to be working in. And, do you understand where I'm coming from? Like, how to box clever, basically. That's my mission. Yeah. To make you be enough, wise enough on these roads to box clever. And wise enough about people and characters to box clever. That's my mission right now, as you're a teenager. It's one of my missions. Yeah, making box clever. You understand? Because it's not easy out here. It's not easy for a young person. Yeah? And I get it. Like, don't, don't get it twisted. I'm not... No you is bad. Tay was right. They're products of their environment. But without no guidance, or with negative guidance, you're up against a big battle. Somebody like me, I'm up against a big battle. And it's that negative guidance that can ultimately put my son at risk. My little prince right there, you understand me? Soon to be a king, you understand me? I do everything I can. Trust me. You know what's sad as well, Tay? Yeah. Is that there's so many young ones in jail doing L plates. Like, they're doing longer than you've lived already. Yeah. And it's not until, it's not until that moment, that impulsive moment goes when they was that angry that they felt that they had to do whatever they needed to do or they was encouraged to do it or... What's it's up? not until they have that time behind the door on their own that they actually contemplate that they threw their life away, you know? Now the government controls their life. I don't know what's worse. I don't know if dying or being controlled by the government for the rest of your life is worse. I don't know. You might as well be dead anyway. Sad. In one mistake, two people lose their lives. In one action, two people lose their lives. Not just one. 
Yeah. You know? And that's the rule. But anyway, boom. Casey's sleeping. The walk's doing him good. Look. Look at him. He just cotched off right now. Getting in his vitamin D while we're walking. Look, Buster's living his life. Living his best life right now. We're just walking by the river. Down by the... Sing it now. Is it even a river? Yeah, sing it now. River. Down by the river. river. Sing it, sing it now. River. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Telling you. Days like this you gotta hold on to. Days like this you gotta cherish. And I'm not perfect by any means. One thing I know that life's journey made me know that I cherish days like this now. Trust me. You know when we talk about things like knife crime and them things there, yeah? There's got to be solutions, innit? It can't just be a conversation. But I feel like that's where it starts. It starts with conversating with our young. Understanding what's going on for them. Like, my relationship with Tay is very close, it's very open. Like, I want to know what I'm going for you. How are you feeling? What's going on around you and your friends? You understand me? Car. a lot of the time, there's no conversation. And without a conversation, without knowing what the youths are going through, or what's going on, or... These are premature minds, like... What are you gonna do? Let premature minds make decisions? With no guidance? Oscar. Is that what we're gonna do? We can't do that. We have to have that conversation, innit? I have to offer the advice, if I can offer the advice. But I feel like people hold knives because they don't want to fight. But they know if you use a knife, you're never going to lose, really. Okay. But they don't think about the further consequences. They, yeah. they don't think about the biggest loss though, do they? No. The loss of the person's life and their life. Because it's like, I, can, I can't punch you up. But, I can, but if I was to stab you and run away, I couldn't, you, you couldn't reason nothing about it. Yeah. But ain't that a soft approach though? Yeah, but I, don't feel, I feel like they see it as like... A hard approach? Yeah. For that split second? Yeah. In that moment? I've been told I was going to be stabbed before. How I did didn't, it make you feel? I didn't care though. I didn't get stabbed. Yeah, but how did it make you feel in that moment? I was... I, 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 I don't know. I'm just normal. Hmm. And you know what's funny? <laughs> I didn't know this until, you, until I've got old. <laughs> you know when you get older, you know like back in the day you might jump off or something or you might then jump over a ramp or... I, I don't know. Buster, but come. Buster, this but when you get older and you know the consequences to certain things or... Raw! You really do think twice, innit? Like, mm, I don't know if I'll do that. I don't know if I'll jump off that rock into that water because I don't know how I'd land. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I'd hit that ramp on my bike because what happens if the wood snaps and I go over the handlebars? You know, them, them type of. But that only comes with age. Yeah, I know it's funny. It's funny, isn't it? Like, no, but I, I find it funny though, because that. Like, I jumped off a scaffolding the other day. <laughs> I remember we used to live in the flats here, yeah? and we used to hang from the bars on the outside of the balconies and pull ourselves back up. That was the day. You think I'll do that now? What was I. What was I eating back then? I, I would do it though. What? I would do it though, because I feel like I'll be able to do it. I don't. I don't I don't know what I was, I don't know, I don't know what was in the water back then, but yeah, them type of things there, boy. Mad. But I hope though, I really hope. What now is going to be for Kaysen? I really hope, I really hope, I really hope this, this is going to change. I hope there's going to be some change. Because right now I've got two princes now. And Are you not calling me a prince? Oh, it's nuts, man. <laughs> it's nuts. I worry every day, man. I do. I can only do so much. That's my biggest fear. 
is losing my child to these roads, to someone who doesn't care about life. Buster. Trust me. Black mouth, how though? Tell me how you could be black mouth. Doesn't he come to me and say to me, Dad, there's a problem right now? And it gets fixed. Isn't that what happens? When he goes to an adult and they fix it. Isn't that what happens? Yeah, maybe if he doesn't you, know, you know, one thing I don't like about certain things that get made, certain, I don't know, documentaries, films, whatever you want to call them, that get made, is that there is always a solution. You can only be recruited if you want to be recruited. That's the rule. Let me tell you why. Because you see the person that wants to recruit you, if you scream enough, they don't want that heat. If you talk to an adult, they don't want that heat. They don't want to be seen as that guy that's recruiting kids. Do you understand me? Yeah. But what they try to do is, it's not called recruiting, it's called manipulation. Yeah? They try to manipulate young minds yeah. by throwing material things at them. That is why I make sure Tay makes his money from the age of 13. Saturday job, editing. You understand me? No one can't come to Tay and say to Tay, you're a big man, I'm going to buy you a pair of trainers. You look at them and I say, big man. What pair of trainers can you buy me that I can't buy myself? I'm going to buy you a scooter. I bought my scooter myself. Mm. Yeah, but look at this one, back from the gym. How are you really back from the gym? Yeah? You're not even sweating. Sitting. I've been sweating. Yeah? I'm not even sweating. Why are you sitting on the step? What happened to you? I'm locked out. Why are you locked out? Because you know. forgot your key like T. I found my key. Have you found your chain yet? Because no, because we've been out. Huh? Babe, have you got your chain? No. I feel like one of you have it. Why would I have your chain? Because that wouldn't just be filming there. Even though you took my bracelet. I'm filming this. I'm filming this for documentation. So when I do actually skit out, you can look back at the video and see the progression of the skit. Do you understand me? The build up of my emotion. No, I'm not yeah. Big man, did you did you did you sell the thing and say it's lost? Why you shouldn't have said this? Because now you're getting me into unnecessary trouble. No, but that didn't even cross my mind though. Unks is the one that made me. F I, you, you, I actually genuinely, when he said that he wanted to sell it last week, yeah, I said, I, if, I wonder if he was, he's so money hungry, he would just sell it anyway and say he lost it. And then look at it. It's a bit of a coincidence though that it's been lost the same time that I got in my feelings. It was, it was lost a bit before that. Well, anyone had gone the other day. They offer you money now. No, taste. No, 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 real. Oh, no, real big man. I hope you didn't sell. I hope you didn't sell the chain, you know. I never. Huh? Never. You know, I don't know what I would do if you sold the chain. Like, how you buying them cookie you. Jordans? Yeah. With with money with Sims. With what? Money You've only worked with Sims a couple of times, so yeah. that's not Oreo money. Hey, I'm giving you 24 hours to find the chain. Yeah. How many weeks are you into your six weeks holiday? About three. Two. You're gonna spend the next three weeks making me understand where the chain is. Mm -mm. But did you lose it in the house? I think so. What Wait, do you mean you think? How do you mean? When was the last time you saw the chain? Like maybe like a week, a week and a half. And where did you see it? I can't remember. That's why I would would have known where it was. No. I don't run. <laughs> when was the last time you saw the chain? When did you realise it was missing? When Dad asked me where my, where my chain is. Yeah. And then I was actually thinking where actually is my chain. Yeah. And then I have seen it since then. Well, that's another one of Tay's. I don't know to the most important questions. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm actually going to pack my bags in there. And go where? Where are you going to live? I do know where I live in. Where? That's a secret. Why would I tell you? Where are you going to live? I'll have to if I can't find <laughs> it in the next 24 hours. You're going to pack your bags and, and leave? I'm going to have to. Huh? I'm going to have to. Just make sure you pack the things that you own. Only. Don't be packing nothing that's part of the yard. So babe, if he doesn't find the chain yet, what should I do? Should I leave it to you? No. 
Huh? Yes, leave it to mom. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to do this. Huh? Master, um, come live with you for right. what? Come Let me ask you. I'm, I'm starting to lean towards you, sold it. Uh, do what? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, let me tell you something. You see, if my son has sold this chain, <laughs> this is one of the pressurized moments. I don't know what will happen. I tell you what, we're going to come back to this. This is to be continued. We're going to see what happens to Tay in it. Like, right now, Tay. Tay's borderline, like, it's peak right now. Like, to be continued. This is a good cliffhanger. To be continued.